Hello folks, it's uh, Trapper Chum here. Trapper Chum here. We're uh, just getting ready here to do another episode, episode two. Uh, what we'll be doing here is a little bit of checking traps and maybe setting a few more wolf snares and a little bit of fur handling. So that's what we're gonna have in the episode two. So uh, stay tuned, enjoy. Just checking out some fish or martin sets here. And I just come over the hill. As you can see right through the trees here, Tonight, I guess you to skin them up. Good catch on them. A little bit of frosty out this morning. I left the cab and it was about minus 14. Just thought I'd come and check a few sets, and the second set I came to, we just walk in here. It's a Martin set, and that's exactly what I got today. The Martin. And I, hopefully, he, oh yeah, he throws. He's been in there a while. So what I'll have to do, I can't get the trap off him, so. He's frozen, I don't want to wreck the fur. So, I'll just take trap and all. I never brought no other traps with me today, so. We'll keep checking, I'll we'll keep you posted. I'm uh, heading on out, I've uh, got to go and get some propane and some gas, so. Quite a little hike out, it's uh, about 20, 21 Ks. So, I got enough gas to get out, but I also need propane, I got the bottle. I'm dragging my tires in the way out just to, just to help things out, my jerry cans here. Got my drag in behind. It's uh, moving the road out quite a bit. And then I'll use my trail chromer once it gets hard. But yeah, so uh, I'll let you know how I make out. Uh, it's going to be about an hour, hour and a half each way. So. Wish me luck. Later. Well, here we are. Oh, about four hours later. I'm on my way back in with the propane and gas. Had a little trouble on some of these big hills here. But she's blacker than the inside of a cow here right now. And I'm probably three quarters of the way in, so be a little more. And it's not bad. There's a lot of traffic. The hunters are in today, so it helps pack the road some. All right, we'll just keep plugging at her. Well, about three days ago, I came through here. I had some snares from through the years just hanging in the trees, so I opened them up. I got about 20 sets here. Uh, this is the area where I caught the seven all at once. There was four right in there and three across on this side. So anyway, I reset all those, and today I was just touring down here going to set some more out and uh, I should have had this on earlier but uh, I happen to see it tore up from off the road so I walked in there and uh, I had one and uh, yeah he was still he was still fighting the whole pack has been just in here so I went and checked the rest of the sets. I got here a little too early, maybe. 
but I had to put them down and uh, I drug them out so uh, I got all that done and I thought well you know I should have videoed that which I'm doing now but uh, this is the kind of stuff that the wolves they like to travel in they catch the deer the moose in it the rabbits but yeah here he is big bad puppy oh well keep you in tune well here's the spot I had worked so hard to get into I got wolf snares set through there all through here I started in here yesterday I got about 57 sets in here and I worked so hard to get in here because this creek used to be right full of beaver that high flood we had uh, this spring took out all of my beaver dams and uh, it uh, just totally wrecked everything there's a beaver house right there I used to get a lot of beaver out of but not this year so I'm going to try going on down get down around that point I got come in from the other way I got some more wolf snares in there but maybe I can get some set in here so uh, we're gonna sure give her a try and uh, they've been all over in here so hopefully I can pick up a half a dozen or so out of this area well here I am I'm into the big timber here and this is uh, I just walked down the trail a ways looking uh, for bear tracks this is where he was destroying my set but a little luckier today I came along and uh, one of the sets there that he had destroyed I got myself a fisher I just reset everything and uh, came along today and yeah I could see him hanging it looks like a big old male it is too it's a big big cat so obviously the bear hasn't been back around, a good thing. Cause he'd, oh that is a good one. Cause he'd uh, ate my fisher. Oh yeah. And another good zap, eh? Oh, that's a big cat. Well, I don't know how, oh yeah, I can, He's not froze yet, so uh, yeah, we'll get him off and get rolling again. We still got a few sets to check and uh, hopefully we get some Martins. Which most people are familiar with. It just takes up all the oil and gives a, a chance for your draw knife to bite in. So I get this guy done up and then I like to board him. I don't uh, want to board him right away because I have to be able to he be here to turn them and I gotta go check set so what I'll do is I'll board them this evening when I get in that way in three hours two hours whatever it is start drying I can turn them because uh, leather in on, on these eh so I gotta be able to turn them to where he's not too dry but yet you want them dry enough because you don't want them spoiling on the inside so I'll probably be gone a few hours here, well, probably right until dark now, because uh, I got one place here, I went and checked my Martin set the other day, and uh, I got a darn bear, he hasn't, he's not sleeping yet, and he run, come around, and he was robbing all my set, so if that happens again today, I'm going to have to get on his tracks and see where he's at, because I'll be just spending time up here for nothing. So we'll get that all done up and and uh, see I got a few wolf sets yet that I got to check today as well because I see some wolf tracks on the road last night there on my trail not far from my set so I got a pretty good feeling there as well so uh, I guess it's just time will tell and uh, like on these here when you're doing them up if you want to be careful not rip them uh, you want to get the best dollar you can on these pelts, 
you know, uh, it's a lot of work and, and why, why kill the animal if you can't, you're just going to sit there and wreck it, so, uh, we try our best, I mean, there's, a. Uh, Sometimes, well, uh, you get awards for your top fur, for fur handling, and that's what you try for every year. You try to uh, beat that. I don't know, I got quite a few awards here, and I got some hanging in the cabin. Uh, I got a bunch at home, still got to bring in. I got uh, a junior partner coming in for the weekend. She did some beaver trapping with me earlier. Uh, She's going to come in, so uh, what we'll do then, while she's here, we'll probably get some good footage of setting snares and stuff, because right now it's, uh, I'm by myself, and to set up the camera and then get the good footage, because you're moving steady, it, uh, I'll wait and when she comes in, she can do the, the video of it, and uh, yeah, so that's what we'll do, and then I got... Uh, Caught up after I get this guy on the board. They had some beavers here I had to get done up and coyote on the board, Martin's on the board, so it's a good feeling when you're all said and done, you can sit back in the evening and have the evening to yourself, which there's lots of time up here to have. But uh Yeah, so in a way that's it. Uh I don't think you wanna sit and watch this all day, but uh it's the idea of getting at it, you know, and uh, getting her done. I like to get up in the mornings here. I'm usually up at 4.35 o'clock and, and uh, get my day started, drink coffee, and do up the little bit of fur I got in the sack, because it's thawed, you know. Get it done, and then this way, uh, towards the evenings, you can uh, clean up the sack or go to bed early, whatever you want. It's just the idea of getting up early, that's all. And here, there's no use of sleeping in. Yeah.